Hey there, you're watching Caffeine TV and this is the first episode of the Coding with Coriolis series. I'm your host, Konishku underscore developer. Let's get started. Our first project is going to be a notes app. I decided on this project after a lot of careful deliberation since a notes app is a project where you can start off simply and then add features down the line. Before we start off with the actual app building process, we first have to think about what we want the app to do. For the first stage, which is going to be very simple, we'll only have the ability to write one note. However, if you were to write a note, then close the app, and when you open the app, the note isn't there anymore, it won't be of much use. Therefore, the note has to be persistent. Usually, when taking notes, we have a small heading and then a larger body, right? So we'll have a text box for the heading, we'll make it fill the width and then a text box for the body of the note we'll make it fill both the height and the width of the screen we don't want it to say screen one instead we want it to say say uh, notes so we'll change the title text to notes fun fact though our app won't actually be taking notes it will be taking a single note small nuance can be ignored for now as we discussed the note has to be persistent for that, we'll be using a component called TinyDB. We'll search here, Tiny, and then drag TinyDB onto the workspace. We don't have to change the namespace. It only affects the name of an XML file internally and what's written to the logs. So most users won't even be seeing it. So just leave it at default since another life pro tip. You shouldn't create a headache where there isn't one already. It's the key to a peaceful life. Anyway, let's continue configuring our components. We'll click the Xbox One and then change the hint. So that's the text your user sees in the text box before they even type in anything. So for example, password boxes on websites or other login pages usually say password or enter your password. That's what the hint is for, to let your user know what the text box is to be used for. For example, messaging apps have the text boxes with hints, type a message, like that. We'll have this say heading and this say body. If you know HTML, you're probably finding this funny. If you don't, don't worry about it. We'll make the hint color not black since it can confuse a user because think about it. You type in black fonts. If there's already black text in the text box, you might think it's text, not a hint. If you're wondering, yes, you can set the text box to have some text by default. That's in this property. However, we're not interested in it right now. And you'll see we already have the color we already used, which is really convenient. Although it may seem like we didn't do much today, we have already done more than half the work for the first version of our notes app. We already have the user interface. We have planned out what components we'll be needing. And the next step would be to test this out first before proceeding with any blocks. There's a reason I abbreviated coding with Codier as quick. I'm trying to keep these videos short and interesting so that you can follow along, have fun. And at the end of the day, we'll be learning something. In the next episode of Coding with Codular, we'll be testing out our app for the first time and adding some features. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. The thumbs down if you really didn't. Share the video to help out the channel. Make sure to join the Caffeine community, link in the video description. And with that, I'll take leave. Happy coding.